Hello everyone and welcome back to this second tutorial in my NEM series. In the last video we looked at how we can uh, use the NEM SDK in order to query information from the NEM blockchain. In today's video we're going to do something a bit more interactive. We're going to send a transaction uh, of uh, XEM coins uh, via the NEM SDK. So we're going to go straight into it. You will need to create a, a new JavaScript file in a folder where you have uh, the SDK installed. So you need to have a node modules folder with the uh, NEM SDK installed via the node package manager. If you don't know how to do that, you should go back and watch the first video I did, uh, the video before that, then I will go through how you install the actual uh, SDK. But let's get into it. We need some uh, uh, standard stuff here that we used in the last uh, video as well. First of all, we need to uh, import the SDK here. So we need to require uh, nem-sdk.default, uh, like so, yeah. And then we also need our endpoint object, which is how we connect to the uh, main blockchain. And that we uh, then we use the nem-sdk, and there's a function there uh, called objects.create, where you can create this endpoint object. Uh, and this is something that is a uh, recurring notion here, nem model objects dot create. It's a uh, function for creating different different objects that we use. Uh, you will see that later on as well. This takes uh, two parameters after here, and the first one is the uh, which network we want to use, and we're going to use the testnet, and that is defined in the SDK uh, at nem dot model dot nodes dot default testnet. And then we're going to have the port, and the port is also uh, defined in the same uh, place here, nem.model.nodes.default port, like so. And now we can, uh, well first we need to have our uh, an object called the common object, and that is uh, pretty much our authentication, uh, meaning where will we send the funds from because we'll need to be authorized in order to send funds from one account to another so we're going to create an object called common and this is going to hold your password and your private key and we do the same thing here nem model object dot create and now it's a common object it's called common and here we need to supply our password and our private key and of course this is not a uh, this is not a very secure way of uh, storing it, but this is just a testnet, so you don't have to worry. But I won't, uh, I won't put in my password and private key here right now in front of you, because I want to be able to keep using my testnet account with my uh, testnet funds. So uh, you're going to insert your private key here and your password here. Uh, but keep in mind that you only do this for the testnet. Uh, if you do this on the mainnet, you would have, uh, have to do it uh, in a more secure way. Okay, so now we can go ahead and create our transaction and it, we're going to call it trans, transfer transaction uh, because it will be of type transfer transaction and we use the same create function to create it then model object create and in here we're going to have transfer transaction because that's the type of the object that we want to create and this takes three parameters uh, it takes uh, first of all the address that we want to send it to and you'll need to get that from your nano wallet. And we can see here we can get our address from here, copy address. And then we can go back to the code and we put that in there. And then we need the amount. So let's say we want to send five coins. And then we can leave a message here in the transaction. So we can say hello from trans the transfer test program like so and then we need to go ahead and prepare this transaction uh, because this transaction is not in the right format in order to get sent so we're going to create a new variable called trans prepared transaction and then we're going to use the nem.model.transactions namespace and then dot prepare and then we're going to prepare the type transfer transaction once again that is the same type and then we'll need in here first our common object then our transfer transaction uh, and yeah the common object is for authentication the transfer transaction is the raw input here 
and then we're also going to need the uh, the ID of the testnet, which is available in the SDK here. So nem.model.network.data.testnet.id. Uh, that will give us the ID of the testnet. And if you use the mainnet, you will need the mainnet ID instead, of course. And now the transaction is ready to be sent. So we can now use uh, the uh, transaction namespace once again and do nem.model.transactions.send. And here we're going to need our common object once again for authentication. We're going to need our prepared transaction. And then we're also going to need our endpoint object, which uh, we defined up here that connects us to the network. And this will return us a promise. So we'll need to use then in order to handle uh, when that uh, we get that response. So if it's a successful response, we'll handle that in this function. And then comma, an error handler function like so and in both of these we're just going to console.log the result and in oh, let's see and in the error we're going to console log the error like so and we can go ahead and save this and now we are ready to execute this in our terminal using node and what you need to do is of course fill in this with your correct private key and password for your testnet account i will do that uh, before opening up my terminal and uh, but I fill out that uh, off camera and then I'll get back uh, to you in just a second. So now I've uh, filled in my private key and password and we're ready to try this out. So node transaction test.js. I'm going to execute that and we can see here that we got success and we got a transaction hash and we can see our code and type. This is the success uh, code one means success. Then we can look in our nano wallet now because it, it should have made a little bing sound and we can see here that we've got a new unconfirmed outgoing transaction for five xem so i don't know what account you sent it to but now it is confirmed and it has gone away to the uh, uh to another account that i have uh that will receive the transaction but you'll be able to check uh so that it has been confirmed you can see that here we can see some information it is 0 0.1 fee and we have our message here and the hash and i sent it to this address and I, I think you could be able to send it to yourself as well so if you enter the same address you should just receive it here as well uh, but uh, that is really it for now in the next video i'm going to show you how you can create your own uh, mosaic and then after that i'm going to show you how you can transfer that mosaic and start building applications around your own mosaics uh, yourself Thank you very much for watching the video. If you enjoy this type of content, please make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Also leave a like, it really helps me out. And then also leave a comment if you have any comments on them or if you have any future suggestions. I'll be happy to talk to you down there.